Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert a voice recording to text on your computer. So there's a lot of reasons for audio transcription. It could be that you want a transcript of your podcast. It could be that you want to turn your YouTube video into a blog post. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the best way to convert your audio recording into text. And here's exactly what we're going to be covering with the timestamps in case you want to skip ahead in this video. First, we're going to cover how to automatically convert your audio to text, then how to edit and adjust the text transcription to your liking, how to download your transcription as a text file, how to download your transcription as closed captions, and finally, how to create a video Video with your text transcription appearing on screen just like subtitles. And with that being said, let's get started. So the tool we're going to be using to do this is called Veed. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and then click on the first link. If not, as usual, the links are going to be in the description down below. Once you're on Veed, the first step is to create a new project. So we're just going to click on the new project button in the top left, and then we're taken into Veed's editor. And this is where we want to upload our audio file. So what we're going to do is click on this upload file button. As we can see, our documents open up, and now we just want to select the audio file that we want to convert into text and click on open. So if I select this file right here and then click on open. As you can see here, we're now prompted to choose a template if we want to turn this audio recording into a video. But here, we're just going to click on start with a blank canvas at the bottom. So now if I click play, Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to this. As you can see, we have my audio recording and we're going to convert this audio into text. All we have to do is head over to the toolbar on the left and click on the subtitle tab. And then here we're going to be using the automatic subtitle tool to automatically transcribe all of the audio from our audio file into text. Now, the first thing you need to do is select the language that you're talking in. In this audio snippet, we are speaking in English. So I'm just going to select English. And then once you've chosen your language, you just click on start. Once you've clicked on start, Veed is then going to take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the length of your audio, and then convert that audio into text. So as we can see, it's now finished converting our audio into text. And if we take a look on the left here, we have it in the subtitle editor. We then have our text in the timeline, and we also have a text appearing on the video canvas. So the next thing we want to do now is just check that our audio transcription is correct. So we're going to take a look. We're going to place the player at the beginning, and we're just going to click on play and read the text at the same time as we listen to the audio. Hey, everyone. I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the Social Media Podcast. I'm your host, Alec. And in this podcast, we're going to be talking about everything and anything related to social media. So get comfortable. So as we can see, our audio transcription is pretty accurate. The only thing I would change would be for the very first part. As you can see, it says everyone instead of hey, everyone. But this is just because I speak very fast and I kind of slurred the words together. If we want to correct this, it's very simple. I just have to click on this text bubble and go ahead and make my changes as if it was normal text. So there we go. I've now changed it into Hey Everyone, and that is how I can edit the text if I need to. Now, the next step is to how to download this audio transcription as a text file. While we're still in the subtitle tab, we're going to go to the Options tab right here. And as you can see at the bottom under the Download Subtitles section, we have this little drop down menu. And if I click on it, as you can see, I can then choose what format I want to download the transcription as. So here I can choose the text format. And if I click on the download button right next to it, as you can see, I now have my transcription that's downloaded. So if I choose to open this and I then double click to open it, as we can see here, we have our text that has downloaded and that is how to convert our audio recording into text on our computer. Now, if I want to download these as closed captions, very simple. All I have to do in this drop down menu is change this to an SRT file. An SRT file stands for Subrip Subtitle File. And basically, this will allow you to upload these as closed captions with your video or audio, let's say to YouTube or Facebook. So again, I would just click on the download button. And once again, they are downloaded. Now, let's say I don't want to download my audio transcription as a text file or as closed captions. Well, I could potentially turn it into a video. Now, if we take a look right here on my video canvas, if I click play, Everyone, I hope you're all doing great. This is basically a square video with my subtitles. If I want to place my subtitles in the middle, I can place them right here. And if I click on the export button in the top right, this will basically render my video with the subtitles hard coded into it. So I will have a video with my audio transcription displayed as the audio plays. Now, if I wanted to adjust the style of my subtitles, I just head over to the style tab. And here I can do things such as change the font. I can change the font size to make them a bit bigger. I can change the font, let's say, to Anton if I wanted to. 
I can also change the text color. I can make them bright pink. At the bottom of this tab right here, we have a bunch of different presets. So I could choose this one right here with some drop shadow. If I want to change the background color, I can head over to the project tab and then change the background color by clicking here. So as we can see, I now have a pink background. You can also do much, much more with Veed. I can add some background music if I want to in the audio tab. I can add some images. I could add some more text. But then once I'm happy with my audio transcription and I want to download it as a video, all I have to do is click on the export button in the top right and then Veed starts to render my audio transcription and then I can download it as a video. And there you go. That is how to convert your voice recording into a text file on your computer. If you have any questions, I would love to hear them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks for watching.